What's happening, people? Today we have a battle against Radicule. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And for today, we are using a very interesting team. We have a Dragon Knight in our team. I was thinking about Salamence or some variant of, I don't know, some sweeping dragon. <laughs> but honestly, Dragon Knight came to mind. Dragon Knight is pretty dangerous thanks to his multi scale. His uh, absurd stats, honestly, with um, priority and stuff like that. I don't know, Dragon Knight is a great Pokemon. His move pool is great. It's Everything it can do is great. So why this Pokemon is honestly not used a lot, it's beyond me. I guess there is better options. But, um... Dragon Knight is still a great Pokemon, nonetheless. But, obviously, that is not the point of this team. I think you see that point on the far left. Yes, the right, people. We are using Mega Aldino. Mega Aldino is... Has... No, this Pokemon has no place in OU. <laughs> Even though I'm using Mega Aldino. Uh, this Pokemon has no place in OU at all. It, I, but the thing is, though, I love it. I love her. Love her. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know. But anyways, yes, I do love this Pokemon. She is really cool. Um, I just love how they just made a Mega out of a Pokemon that nobody even cares of. And so, here we are with Mega, I don't know, Mega Chansey would no, Mega Blessy would, would have been better. But yes, Mega Aldina. It is still pretty cool. I wish uh, Mega Aldino's ability was better though. Healer is probably the worst worst ability you could ever give this Pokemon. I don't understand why they gave it that ability. It should have kept Regenerator or at least kept, or at least keep Natural Cure or gain something that aids it, like Natural Cure, maybe its own ability. So when it switches out, it can heal all Pokemon on your party. That is broken, but I love it. So I don't know. Actually, no, that would definitely help stall. Holy cow, that would have changed stall. Oh my god, never mind. Never mind, that ability is broken. No, uh, it's not broken, it's just that stall is a thing, so that would be hella annoying. Uh, I don't know, let's give us some good ability. Regenerator would have been great. So, there's that. Um, this team did take me a little while to build. I have experimented with Mega Aldino before, so this team wasn't so difficult to build, which was great, honestly, because team building can take you a long time. It takes me like three to four days, honestly, because you have to really think about this meta game. There's so many Pokemon in it that you just really have to, you know, make sure you're being thorough with your team and how you build it. So anyways, uh, you can see Radicule cool, and me are both using uh, Herans and Liosis. That's fun. So anyways, we're going to stop talking and get into the game. Because this is actually a very interesting, cool one. Honestly, I had an intense one this game. I had an intense battle. So, I am going to be leading off my... I believe my... Yes, my Aldino. I'm going to lead off my Aldino, believing that he would lead off with his Michelopony. But unfortunately, that is not the case. He leads off with the He-Ram. But that also tells me that this thing is his Stealth Rocker, which should have made sense. Because he, um, this was his only potential stealth rocker. So right here, I'm gonna switch it to my room. I don't know what type, I have battled Eradicule a couple times before. So I know what type of player he actually is. But sometimes I, not really. I mean, it's just unpredictable sometimes. So right here, I'm gonna go straight for the Hydro Pump. Thinking he would stay in with his Heat Ran to set stealth rocks. Because when you let off, let off with the Heat Ran, I knew automatically that his uh, he ran was a stealth rocker, but right here he is going to switch directly into his uh, Zapdos, taking the Hydra Pump, roosting off the damage as I full switch, and that that is also going to take away his uh, flying typing as he roosts. So this will switch is resistive. Great move. I should have went for the Will O Wisp, but unfortunately I was taunted. So what I am going to do here, do here, is switch to my Lyos. Now unfortunately that Mimikyu is in the back of my mind. I mean, back in my head, or at least, or at least I know that thing is going to destroy my team if I'm not careful. So I am not, I am without a doubt not going to go for Draco Mirror. Actually, I should have gone for Draco Mirror because I have a Ferrothorn at full HP that could take that thing on pretty easily. But uh, I'm not going to risk it. I, what I'm going to do is go for the Psychic, but leaving he would switch to the Mimikyu. But unfortunately, he's going to play a very, very ballsy move for switching into his Greninja. And revealing that it is choice specs 
getting off that crit. That critical hit is going to really F me over in the next couple of turns, you guys are going to see. But right here, he is going to uh, switch out of his Greninja into his Heeran. As I set up stuff, rocks get a little bit of HP back with the leftovers. That's good and all. But uh, right here, I am going to uh, outplay him a little. Because honestly, I see what he did the first turns of the game. And so now I'm going to take advantage of that. Because uh, the first turns of the game, well, everything I did wasn't very. Um, it, honestly, I, he thinks he's trying to get into my head. This is the type of player that I know Raikul can, can be. So I know for a fact he's going to get in my, into my head and think that I'm going to overpredict his plays. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. I knew for a fact he was going to think that I would overpredict. Or at least I um, uh, think that he would switch out of his he ran this time. And not want to take a Hydra Pump. But unfortunately for him, I knew for a fact he was going to stay in. <laughs> take uh, to take the uh, Hydra Pump. Because, uh, I don't know, I knew for a fact he was going to stay in and not switch out. <laughs> because he thought I was going to over predict and predicting him to switch out. But unfortunately that was not the case. I am going to Hydra Pump that he ran. And then Volt Switch, predicting him to think that I would go for another Hydra Pump to finish off the heat ran. So that all around was just a great play. He is going to miss that Will O Wisp, unfortunately. But it is, doesn't really matter, honestly. I think I have rest on my room. So it would have not mattered at all. Um. <laughs> So right here, I'm going to go straight for the Psychic, because I know for a fact he's going to uh, allow either allow this Zapdos to die because Stealth Rocks are on the field and it doesn't really counter anything or something, I don't know. But anyways, he is going to switch into Mimikyu. I'm going to make a misplay. I should have went for the Psychic with my Lyos on this very turn. And then after that, uh, switch into my... Uh, I'm not sure what I should have switched into next. I mean, I don't know. I should have just been more aggressive against this Mimikyu instead of playing around like you, <laughs> playing around against it like this. Because I w just went into my favorite form against this thing to um, get a little, little bit of leftovers and then switch out into my Aldino, predicting him to go for the uh, Z move, not Mimikyu Z move, but the the Ghost type Z move. Honestly, the Ghost Z. So I thought he would honestly go for the move right there and then. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case because he is gonna sub another source dance, and now I know what he's doing. He has the Z wait, my phone. What is this? Okay, <laughs> okay. So yes, I knew for a fact he would go for the Z move. Um, Mimikyu Z move when he set set it up that sick um that second source dance. My bad, I got a text message. I got distracted. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I knew for a fact he would go for the. I knew for a fact he had Mimikyu's signature Z move. Which is why he went for two Sora's dances. So ultimately, that made sense. Because he knew he could have one-shot my uh, Ferrothorn with just plus two. So he went to plus four, and that way he would have would have had a better chance of knocking out my Ferrothorn. Honestly, he cannot kill my Ferrothorn even at plus four at his range of HP. But but anyways, I knew for a fact he's going to go for his uh, Z-move, Mimikyu Z-move, right now against my Aldino. Luckily, I protect and regenerate on my Dino, so that's not going to hinder me too much. Right now, I am going to switch into my Ferrothor. I know for a fact he has to go for another play rough. Uh, he is going to take Iron Bard's damage and whatnot. Uh, I don't think I can live a plus four play rough. I mean, Shadow Claw, regardless. He gives us Mimikyu. So, uh, I am going to sack my Ferrothorn right now and switch into my Heat Ran afterwards because uh, this is my best chance of killing this thing. I had I already blew my chance of breaking the skies and trying to finish it off. At this point, this thing can sweep me. So what I'm gonna be forced to do is uh, let my further ferret on the die, put a little, little bit of damage on it, the iron barbs and stuff. And what I'm gonna do now is switch to my heat ran, take a single hit from this thing because I know for that for a fact I could take a plus four shell claw, and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it um, very barely, very barely, barely take it. And I am going to poison him, luckily, so this is great. Honestly, in my opinion, I should have switched into my Kiran in the first place. I just didn't know what Z move he had. So honestly, I missed Blade. Um, but I am going to get him. I am going to be able to come out of this situation, though. Somehow. I honestly thought I lost when he slipped that, uh, that second sword's hands. <laughs> I thought I lost. But uh, I'm going to poison him. He, he did take Iron Barb, so he is a little weakened. 
So what I'm going to do now is switch to my Odino. Get a little bit of regener ba Regenerator back after I go for this Protect and switch out. Uh, he is going... It's going to go for another play rough, trying to finish me off. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. And now I have to choose what on my team gets destroyed. I did not want it to be Rotom. I did not want it to be. But unfortunately, I had no choice. Um, What was my last Pokemon? Dragon Knight? Yeah, Dragon Knight. So I may have had a chance to probably... Um, you know what? No. No. I... I I, I was I needed Dragonite in order to sweep him. Because Dragonite can just finish off the game, honestly. Uh, with a single Dragon Dance, I can outspeed most of all the stuff in his team and knock it out. Uh, my goal plan was to actually set up a Dragon Dance on something like his Lyos, had he gone for Draco Mir. Which I, th I doubt he would because I have this Aldino. Um, that or maybe I would have set it up on the Greninja had he locked himself into Hydro Pump. And that was also what I was thinking. Because right here, he is going to switch into his uh, low paint right now. After I kill his <laughs> Mimikyu. After going for protects and having a dot toxic damage. So right now, he is going to switch into the low paint. Uh, unfortunately for me, I'm going to be forced to Mega Evolve right now. I was bound to Mega Evolve eventually. But right now, I am going to be forced to Mega Evolve to gain my fairy typing, and so that way the thing's high, high jump kicks cannot kill me. You see my go plan? You, you see what I did there? That's not okay. That's logical. That's I didn't need to really explain that too much. But whatever. <laughs> I'm being weird. I'm even gonna go for the high jump kick. I mean, he is gonna go for the high jump kick as I go for the wish. I did this in case he got a potential crit on me. Uh, honestly, I really had no reason not to do not go for the wish, uh, which was honestly my best play. I could take a couple hits and then just gain my HP back. Uh, right here he is going to go for the um, switch into his heat ran after I go for the wish because that was a great play. He knew uh, he couldn't two kill me um, at all. And I knew for a fact he was not going to go for the high jump kick on the second turn. So whatever move he goes for I know for a fact I can live it, go for the death and gleam, get my HP back, go for the wish again, go from there. But obviously he switched to Heat Ran. I'm gonna switch to my Lyos right now. As he is indeed gonna go straight for the taunt. Um I don't know if he has Magma Storm Magma Storm or not. If he had it, that would have been a great play right there. Um not great play, but honestly, that's something I would have done. But anyways, I guess I that's just his gameplay. Why is that showing up there? Okay, that looks terrible. Why did I do that? C I updated Citra Myth. Why does it still do this? Why is it Citra updating for Pokemon? This game still has glitches and shit. I don't know if you see it, but I've been seeing... Yeah, you see that? On the his character, I see like some black stuff fizzing out or whatever that is. Yes, yeah, it just happened. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. Maybe it's my computer. I gotta figure out what what the hell that is. But anyways, he is going to... um. I am going to kill that hero with the Draco Mirror. I am Choice Bex. I doubt the crit matter. But right here, he is going to switch directly into his uh, Greninja after I kill his he ran and go for the Dark Pulse. Unfortunately, that's not going to work out because I am going to resist it because I'm a fairy. And uh, I am going to do right here is go for the Wish. Switching into the Lyos, I mean, Low Pony was not the smart play because actually what he should have done was switch into his Lyos instead of allowing this Low Pony to die like this. This Low, lo lo <laughs> this low Pony, my bad could not beat my Aldino. He knows that, which is why he went for the Ice Punch right there in order to try and freeze me. Um, I, I'm i not that type of player at all. I'm not that type of player. I wouldn't rely on a 10% chance of hacks that happen. But the truth is, I don't know. I just don't understand. Why is he not thinking of the actual appropriate move of switching into his Lyos? Because I think he actually has a way of countering my Mega Aldino. Um, I don't know why he's not using that method instead of just relying on hacks. That's just not something I would do. But <laughs> right here, like I said, this low bunny cannot beat my Omega LDL. We're not one on one legitimately. Because he needs a crit and one of these two hits in order to kill me. But unfortunately, he's not going to get any of it. I'm going to get my wish up, give my HP back, most of my HP back. And yeah, so <laughs> wherever he switches into next, it has to be something that can actually take me out. Or uh, beat me one on one, but unfortunately he's gonna switch into the Greninja. This Greninja cannot beat me either. 
because I am going to go for Protect, see what move he locks himself into. If it's Hydra Pump, I win. Uh, it is going to be Ice Beam, though. An Ice Beam cannot kill my Aldea. I know I can take two of them as well. I'm not sure if I have Special Defense Investment on my Aldea. I should be running Max Defense, Max HP. I don't know if I am, though. I don't know my investment on my Aldea. My, my AV spread on my defenses are just random. I don't know. <laughs> Um, because I made this Aldino you know, back in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I was just playing around with this Aldino. Uh, I didn't adjust its EVs in terms of OU battles, so I didn't give it the right EV spread to take on. Low playing is high jump kicks, Grinch's Hydra Pumps, Lyos's side kicks and side shocks, and Gyarados's waterfalls. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking, but but luckily everything worked out. My old Dino is gonna take out the Greninja and the low opponent. And so much more. Actually, what else did my low opponent take care of? It kinda defeated the maybe Q, kinda. <laughs> so it did help me beat it. So anyways, yes, he is gonna switch into the Lyos. As I am gonna wish right here and switch it to my um Yes, he's gonna switch into Lyos and go for the combine. That is what I was talking about. With Calm Mind in combination with this thing, it can beat my Aldino. Because my Dazzling Gleams won't be doing shit. Aldino's weak. Um, I wish Aldino got pixelated. That would actually be decent as well. But anyways, yes, he is going to um, go for Calm Mind. My Dazzling Gleams can't do shit to it because of this. And then he can finish me off with like a sidekick or something. But right here, unfortunately for him, <laughs> I am indeed going to go for the Wish. Go straight for this. And I'll speed him and beat, beat him in Speed Tide. And trick him, my choice specs, and now he's screwed. I win. <laughs> it was over at that point when he uh when that happened. Actually, it was over the point when I switched into my Lyos. No matter what, I won. Uh, if he had uh outsped me and broke him, if, no, if he outsped me, he will lower himself at plus two, put himself on neutral out of the. Actually, hold up. <gasps> oh no, I could have lost. Because he went up to plus two, and after that Draco Mirror, he was at neutral. And then my Dragonite, thanks to its multi scale, be broken because of Stealth Rocks, I could have died. Ooh, that was not good. That would have been bad. I would have lost. <laughs> so, luckily, I was thinking that was my goal plan. And that's foul. But unfortunately, it, that would have really sunk deep because I would have lost. <laughs> so, I thought whether or not, if I, if I had lost Speed Tide. I won, or if I won Speed Tide, I definitely won. But unfortunately, had I lost Speed Tide, I would have lost, most likely. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would have lost, who knows. But it, it would have come down to my Aldino versus versus his Lyos, one on one. And his Lyos would have been at minus uh, two. I'm not sure what would have happened. I would have got, I need to get a crit with my Dyson Gleams. <laughs> But anyways, that is going to be game. I well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, pretty fun game, Riley Q. Thank you. Thank you for viral. I do have some other games on Mega All Deal because Mega All Deal looks awesome. I did have probably the most intense battles I have had on my stream with this All Deal team, which is cool because All Deal is a savage. I'm kidding. Mega All Deal is not a savage. If Mega All Deal actually had an ability and got rid of its normal typing for fairy typing instead like agron agron gets rid of its rock typing becomes pure steel if mega audio was pure fairy and got had a better ability it would be better but unfortunately that's not the case uh still though i have more battles thank you guys for watching and we will we will <laughs> we will be back <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> we will be back thank you for um sticking around for my Stuttering. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.